Hello my little fishies, what is up? It's me, it's Anne, and today I have a new video for you guys. So as you can see by the title, we're doing another episode story. Or we're gonna begin with another episode story thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm addicted to this. I don't know why. I love doing these videos and I love watching these videos. They're amazing. I'm gonna start with a new story on episode today. Um, since I actually really want to finish after, but the person who was writing after is not finishing the story. So I don't think there's gonna be any new episodes. So yeah, I think we just have to give up on after and we're just gonna start with a new one. So I was looking for a new story and I found the perfect story. Okay, so the story we are gonna read is called Rule Breaker. And this is the description. A hot friend comes to stay at your house while your dad is away. Too bad that a romance between it, a romance, the too bad that a romance, oh my God. Too bad that the romance, the, oh, Jesus, what the hell is wrong with me? Why, why can't I talk anymore? Too bad that a romance between the two of you is against the rules. Dot, dot, dot. I'm intrigued. So, if this thing can focus, we're gonna start. All right, let's begin, shall we? So we can choose if we want the main love interest to be a girl or a guy. Let's spice it up. Let's pick a girl. Great. Let's start the story. Here we go. Rule Breaker, episode one. So, what's your name? We're gonna not gonna go with my name. We're just gonna choose a different name. We're gonna go with... Let's go with Layla. So, what's your look? To be honest, I don't really want to change a lot about it, but I do want to change her hair. So, we're only gonna go and change the hair, and that's it. I think we're gonna go with this hairstyle. I like it. Okay, let's do it. Oh, crap. Let's find a blue one. We're gonna go with dark blue. Great. So, yeah, we're done. This is what she looks like. Like, this is what we're gonna go with. So, let's go. You look awesome. I know, I designed myself. Thank you. Oh my god, stop it. So sorry, my friend keeps texting me. <laughs> Guys, I'm having a party tonight at my place. Cool, I'll be there. You'll be there too, right babe? Oh god. He does not look handsome at all. Of course. Mm -mm. Be right back. Gotta take a dump. Way to bring it smooth. God, Russ is so amazing. His ass is so sexy. Watch it. It's my boyfriend you're talking about. I was just making a joke. Relax. It wasn't very funny. I didn't know you guys were official. He asked me to be his girlfriend this morning. Girl, why'd you say yes? Oh. That's so great! I'm so happy for you. Does not sound very convincing. Keep an eye out for her. What? I didn't say anything. I like her to do it, you're cool. So, Leila, um, I heard that you'd be parent-free for a month. Yeah, my dad is leaving on a business trip early tomorrow. That means she'll throw us some awesome parties, right? Um, I haven't thought about that. Come on, don't be a prude. If she doesn't want to have a party, she doesn't have to. Whatever. I should get home. My phone died and I don't want my dad to worry. Yeah, just leave, cause say... I don't like that Melissa girl. <laughs> I don't like her at all. I get you. I'll see you later tonight. Of course. Bye guys. Don't even say bye. What great friends you have, girl. Where are you going, baby girl? Oh no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, I'm leaving. Do you mind taking me home? 
uh, right now? No, in five minutes, you dickhead. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Dude. Thanks. That's what you settle for, really? Well, okay. Thanks for driving me home. There you are! Who's this old man? Dude! This old man is her dad. Oh, shit. Exactly, shit. And you are... Dad? Dad? What the hell? Dad? This is Russ, my boyfriend. Russ, it just reminds me of friends. Oh my god. What's up, brother from another mother? Oh my god, seriously, no. You're dating this loser? That's what I'm saying. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with her dad. Dad! Russ, was it? Yeah, man. You better be out of my house in three seconds, or else... Whoa, rude. I thought you said your dad was cool, Layla. Whatever, I'm out of here. I've called you ten times. Sorry, Dad. My phone died. Did you need to tell me something important? As a matter of fact, yes. I want to talk to you about my business trip tomorrow. Dad, I'll be fine. It's just a month. I can take care of myself. I know you can. But... I have a friend who just got out of a, re uh, out of a relationship and needs a place to stay while she finds a new one. Wait, a friend? Wait, you're not gonna tell me that she's gonna fall in love with a friend of her dad, right? Yep, she's gonna fall in love with a friend of her dad. I told her she could stay here, if that's okay with you. You want me to live with someone I've never met? Matt? What the hell, why did they say that so weird? You have met her, but you are much younger than. So, I'm not sure if you remember her. I don't need a babysitter. I'm going to college soon. I know, honey. It's a favor to her. She just needs a place to stay. I wouldn't leave you here with some ran- so, yeah. I wouldn't leave you here with someone random. Trust me. I- Isa? Isa? We'll just call her Isa. Isa's an angel. Isa? Exactly, what a name to be honest. <laughs> yes. Isa King, ring any bells? Isa King, yeah, I remember her. What? I thought we all could have dinner together so we can get to know each other better. I have plans with Russ tonight. Mm, no, you don't. Oh, see? Same. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> you're not gonna go there, sweetie. No, no, your, bo your boyfriend is not it. Hey, uh, I have an idea. Why don't I come with you? Absolutely not. But Amer gets to go. Amer? Amar? What? <laughs> Are you guys talking shit about me? Never, babe. Wait. Wait, I thought it- No, I thought it was your brother. That's why I was like, wait, what? Leia wants to come with us on my business trip. What's so funny? Sweetheart, you have school. You just want to be alone together. Wing wing, nudge nudge. Well, that too. We haven't had a decent vacation since our honeymoon. Now, go freshen up. Issa will be here any second. Yes. You think she will be okay? Of course. Don't worry so much. I feel bad for leaving her so long. Your friend will keep an eye on her. Relax. 
You're right. I need to stop worrying about everything. I'm gonna go home and pack my bags. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, they're married but they don't live together? Wait, I'm so confused. That's... That's weird. All right, I love you. Love you too. A couple hours later. That's her, that's her. The back of her head reminds me of Hermosa from <laughs> Riverdale. <laughs> Leila, just in time. She looks cool. Leila, this is Isa. I love her outfit, seriously. This woman standing before me was nothing like how I have imagined. It was like look oh my god, it was like looking at a cover magazine model. Why can't I talk anymore? What the hell? She had skin that was smooth like velvet, soft with captivating eyes, and cheekbones that could cut through stone. She narrowed her eyes at me and studied me, and that alone made my toes curl. Damn, girl. Calm down. Calm your tits, bro. She was the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen. Hold your horses. Stop it. We're, yeah, we're just gonna change her hair. This. I think we're gonna give her this. You know what? Let's just give her this. Let's just... Yeah, we're gonna give her this. That's it. We're done. Is this your daughter? Yeah. I didn't realize she'd be so... So what? Isa paused for a moment. It seemed like she was looking for the right word. Her gaze was still right at me, and she flicked her tongue on her lower lip. Dude, calm down. Her dad is right next to her. Jesus. Her hard stare made me feel nervous. Be so what? No nothing. Is something burning? What? Oh! <laughs> I was like, what? The pizza! <laughs> Are you done staring? <laughs> Sorry, it's just been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah, it's been quite some time. It's great to see you again. Um, yeah. How old are you? I'm 24. And you must be 18. Oh, thank God it's not illegal. <laughs> She's not gonna get your case. This is, good. this is fine. This is fine. I'm 18. Huh. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six years of a difference. That's fine. That's no worries. Right? No, that's fine. That's fine. What? Sorry. It's kind of weird to see you as almost an adult now. Well, I mean, technically she is an adult. But, okay. What do you mean, almost? I am an adult. See? That's what I said. Sure you are. <laughs> I do stuff that adults do. Yeah, like have a shitty boyfriend that is like the worst. Oh, really? Yes. And what's that? I love this. The sexual tension, you can cut it with a knife. Uh... That's what I thought. Dinner's ready. After you? I love this already. This is gonna be a good story, for sure. This homemade pizza is amazing. I haven't had home-cooked home meals in ages. Tina didn't cook for you? Uh, sorry for bringing up your ex. Uh, I didn't think. It's fine. She was always too tired or out partying with her friends. And I can't cook for the life of me. <laughs> Layla is excellent in the kitchen. I bet she can cook you something nice while I'm away. Don't think she's gonna... Only cook anything nice. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Right, sweetie? Uh, we're, be polite or be rude. 
Let's just be polite, you know? She's gotta be the main love interest. Let's just try to keep it simple, you know? Not start up on the wrong foot. Sure, I'll cook for you. You don't have to. It's not a problem. In that case, <laughs> I'd love a home cooked meal. Maybe you can even teach me. I love this. Of course. <laughs> so, what happened to you and your girlfriend? Layla. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> what? We broke up because she cheated on me. Dang. With my best friend in my bed? Oh, that's a shitty move. Oh shit, exactly. Oh shit. Language? <laughs> Shut up. I guess some people aren't what you think they are. So, I'm currently looking for an apartment since we were living together. It's not easy to find a nice apartment with a great location in this town. You know you can stay here as long as you'd like. I appreciate that, James. Oh, Jesus. I'd like it more if you'd let me pay you. Looking after my daughter while I'm away is more than enough. She can be a handful. I think she's gonna experience that, but in a different way. Oh, really? He's exaggerating. It looks like I'll be the judge of that. Oh, honey, yes, you probably will be. <laughs> Russ. Hey, babe, where are you? <clears throat> ooh, 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 Russ. Shit, I forgot to tell Russ I can't go to his party. Uh, may I please be excused for a minute? Sure. Go after her. Go after her. Hey Russ, I'm sorry, but I can't come tonight. Oh great, my battery's flashing. Awesome. I'm having dinner with my dad and his friend. Are you kidding me? Shut the fuck up. Can't you sneak out later? I can't. You can't? Or you won't? Shh, oh god, I already hate this shit bag. I'll try to sneak out later, okay? Oh no, 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 no. No, you won't. See exactly what I'm saying. Yes. Same. <gasps> Excuse me? <laughs> You're not sneaking out later. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Watch me. Fine, I'll get your dad then. Wait. Yes. Maybe we can negotiate? Negotiate, huh? Yes. This should be interesting. Go on. If you don't tell my dad what I'm up to, then I won't tell him what you're up to. What I'm up to? Come on. I bet you'd like to party and have some fun instead of babysitting me. Let's get something clear. Your dad is a very great friend of mine. I'm in the middle of a separation, and he's kind enough to open up his home for me in exchange for keeping an eye on you. Now, what kind of friend would I be if I let him down like that? Oh, honey. You'll let him down probably, but that's not why. That's, that, that won't be the reason. Who are you meeting anyways? Let's say my boyfriend. We can say my boyfriend and none of your business. Let's just say my boyfriend. Even though I hate it, it's your boyfriend. My boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> he sucks. Yes, I do. He's super hot. No, no, he's not. Well, tell your super hot boyfriend that you're staying in tonight. You should know that while your dad isn't here, you'll be living under my rules. There will be no sneaking out at night or acting reckless. Whoa, who do you think you are? There you are. Is everything okay? 
Yeah, it's totally fine. I was just telling your daughter that she'll be following my rules while you're away. Good. I trust you'd take good care of her. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh my goodness. I haven't shown you to your room yet. Layla, would you be a doll and show her to the guest bed to the to the guest room? Oh my god, could you be a doll? Ugh. Of course. Follow me. This is your room. Thanks, little one. <laughs> I really hope my battery's not gonna die because it's flashing. Sorry, I used to call you that when you were younger. But I guess you're not so little anymore. No, I'm not. So don't call me that again. Don't be fucking rude. Fully noted. Good. You know, it wouldn't hurt to smile a little. Yes, it would. Come on, you used to love me when you were younger. Not only when you were younger. Don't worry. I gave you a favorite doll when you were younger, remember? You played with it for months. I was a kid back then. It's going to take more than a doll to get me to like you now. <laughs> oh, she's got more fun. I have a feeling it's going to be interesting to live with you. Oh, yes. More like pure pain. Oh, no, no, it won't. If we're done here, I like to leave. I'll check on you later tonight. I won't sneak out. Relax. I love this. God, she's getting on my nerves already. Mm, I don't think she is, honey. Relax. She only lived you for a few weeks. Those weeks are gonna go fast. Don't worry. The next day. This is a long ass chapter. Jeez. I've been filming for almost half an hour now. Hello? Who are you? Hi, I'm Tom. He's his assistant. Wait, she has an assistant? What for? Oh, you poor thing. I actually enjoy working for her. She's a good person. Right. I know she can be broody, but she hasn't had it easy in life. Thank God for your dad. Without him, I'm not sure what would have happened to her. What do you mean by that? You don't know the story of how they met? Please be that... Please let that be the next chapter. Um, no? Your dad basically saved your life. The story is really emotional. I almost burst into tears every time I tell the story. I'd love to tell you about it, if you have time. Are you fucking kidding me? Get all the info about Issa's past, and I have to pay 19, like, gems for it? I don't know, I'm not gonna do that, I'm sorry. Um, I'm broke. <laughs> We're gonna stay in the dark. If you guys want me to do that, just, I don't know, give me money. <laughs> just kidding. I'm sure it's a nice story, but I have to go. I don't want to be late for school. Of course, education is important. It was nice to meet you. Likewise. Girl, how long is this chapter? I hate to leave you again, but I'll be back in a month. I'm glad Issa is keeping an eye on you. You can't tell it is. Oh, wait. You can tell it is it is dad babysitting. I'll be a good babysitter. I don't doubt that. Call me if there's anything. Bye, dad. Bye. See ya. We're gonna have fun, if you know what I mean. So, I guess it's just us now. Guess so. How's your mom? I don't know. I haven't spoken to her in two years. How come? When dad came out of the closet and asked for a divorce, she ran off. <laughs> it cut off. Great. We've talked on the phone once or twice since then, but that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I was never much of a pri yeah. I was never much of a priority to her. So, is your assistant going to be here a lot? Whenever I need him. 
Sounds like you're a busy person. I am. I run my I run my own finance company with over 100 employees. Dang. Oh, wow, that's impressive. It is. It really is. I guess. Anyway, I should go. I don't want to be late for school. All right, get dressed and I'll drive you. I am dressed. Those shorts are kind of short for school, don't you think? Oh god, no they're not. Please don't. I don't... I didn't know you were looking at my legs. That's kind of inappropriate, Miss King. Wait, what? Don't be silly. I'm not changing. Fine, whatever. Let's go. I'm taking the bus today. I gotta go so I don't miss it. But... <sighs> yeah, same. Great. Rain! I'll be soaked. Skirt! Hey, I noticed that it started to rain. Why don't you ride with me? Come on, we can get to know each other more during the drive. I'll even let you pick the music. Again with the gems! <laughs> I have to say no! I better get to know Issa better than wait out here in the rain. <laughs> say no. Thanks for the offer, but I will think I'll take the bus. So stubborn. <laughs> You've got no idea how stubborn, honey. I'll see you later then. Hey girl, how does it feel to be parent free? Yeah, about that. I have to tell you something. Sure, what is it? My dad's friend is going to stay with me while he's away on a business trip. And she's hotter than any girl I've ever met. <laughs> Fuck yes. Shut up! How hot on the scale from 1 to 10? 10. Damn. She broke up with her girlfriend and needed a place to stay. She's living with you and she's gay and single. God, you're lucky. Candy, chill out. Nothing can happen. Can happen. Why not? I don't like her very much. <laughs> That'll change. Also, she's my dad's friend. Oh, forbidden. I like that. Even I've even if I were attracted to her, nothing could ever happen between us. <laughs> oh shit. Layla? You forgot your backpack at the bus stop. Shit. Uh, thanks for dropping it off. That's hilarious. No problem. Do you think she heard that? You want me to lie? Shit. She's going to tease me about it, I'm sure. I'm not sure about that. I swear I could see a flicker of heat in her eyes. Don't be ridiculous. Uh oh. What? It looks like Melissa st is staking her claim. What? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Was that the first chapter? Chapter? Was that the first chapter? That was the first chapter. So guys, that's gonna be an amazing story for sure. I mean, the first episode was already like 30 minutes long. So <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. I'm actually excited to read the rest of the story. Kinda wanna read it, but I think we're gonna wait and just wait until like later. This was the first chapter of the story and episode called Rule Breaker. Um, I hope you guys are gonna like it and if you do, you know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Leave in the comments if you like this episode, chapter, thing. If you did, just please let me know. Yeah, I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. <laughs> Bye my little fishies!